Hello everyone, it's Lauren. I'm so excited to be here with you today to share a process video I'm creating using the beautiful Catherine Kit by Felicity Jane. Now I am so lucky because the beautiful Felicity Jane family asked me to be a guest designer for the month of June. So over the next couple of weeks I'll be sharing a couple of layouts with you using this beautiful kit and I hope that it inspires you to create a super sweet layout because Catherine, the beautiful Catherine kit is all that. It's super sweet. So being a little bit nervous, I did a bit of pre-planning on this layout because I thought I'm not, I'm not going to stuff this one up. <laughs> so I did a bit of pre-planning and got my idea in my head. Usually when I'm doing my process videos, I'm just going for it and I just switch the camera on and, and whatever happens, happens. But this time I thought I'm not risking it. Um, so I did a bit of pre-planning and I had this beautiful photo of our gorgeous little puppy Elsa who at times is very cheeky, but she's a much-loved family member and I thought she deserves a page, a feature page all to herself um, to highlight how much we love her. So using the reference strip that comes on the front of the paper pack, which highlights a little peek of all the papers in the collection, I thought I would uh, create a layout and, um, and just use those two pieces just to just to highlight that beautiful color palette that's in the Catherine kit. So the photo that I'm using is a three by four inch landscape photo and the layout format I'm scrapbooking in today is nine by 12 inch, which is my 2020 Project Life album size. So that's why you're seeing lots of that nine by 12 inch for, uh, layouts out of me lately because my layouts and my pocket style pages are all being incorporated into one album this year and I'm finding that's really working for me with Project Life. Life. The beautiful reference strip that comes on the front of the paper pack also has these little scalloped edges um, underneath each of those sort of strips of colour. So I ended up fussy cutting those out as well and just using them to pop at different points on those, um, sorry, to pop on those different points um, of those pattern paper paper strips there just to soften that transition from the, those papers onto my background. How delightful is that black and white polka dot paper? Those whimsical little polka dots in random spots just have made a have made just something a little bit special out of that pattern piece of paper as opposed to our polka dots that we usually get that are very symmetrical but this little whimsical little dot I just thought is a beautiful page um, that will not take away from the colors of the Catherine kit um, but also allow allow those little pops of color to really stand out but also add a little bit of a feature to that back page there now I'm just doing some stitching. This one's going stitch crazy and I, I've fallen in love a bit with my sewing machine of, of late and I'm incorporating a bit of stitching here and there. I think the trick to it is to have the uh, sewing machine close by. So it's just really quick and easy. Just pick it up, grab it, stick it on the table. It's always loaded with white cotton, so that's just my go-to. Um, and then it's really easy just to pick up, grab, plonk on my desk and and stitch, add, add some little features as you see just there. I think that's been always a bit of a barrier for me is sort of getting out my sewing machine out of the cupboard and setting it up. Whereas now it's just sort of sitting beside me and I just grab it, pick it up, plonk it on my desk, add that stitching and there's no, no, nothing hard about it. So here I am just using some bits and pieces from the die cut set. Um, that little tab is not one of the die cut set. That is from the Grace collection. There was a little pack of designer tabs there, but I really wanted just to add a little bit of stamping from the Catherine kit. So I've just pulled out one of those designer tabs to incorporate on my layout. But this little um, tag that you see me playing around with and chopping up and roughing up its edges, um, that's definitely out of the um, Catherine kit. And all the other little embellishments that you'll see me plonk on my page soon are all out of the Catherine kit. So 99.9% .9 of this collection, except for that little beautiful mint um, tab there is from the Catherine kit and that little tab's from the Grace kit, a pass, a pass kit. So the Catherine kit comes with this beautiful stamp set. It's called, um, it's like a week in review. It's got uh, Monday through to Sunday um, words, and it's got a little bit of a floral element and it's got some shapes there that you can layer up and incorporate um, your weekday words into 
um, into your own little custom feature tab there and it's a really versatile little set really great for planners and as you can see it's got that lovely little nice sharp clear font there which is really which is really cute so here I am now I'm just I got to the point where I didn't plan out this bit so I'm just playing around with um, some embellishments and I had those puffy stickers out there I don't end up using those but I kind of really wanted a bit of a black pop because I knew I had a black and white photo. That doesn't end up happening and I don't think it's taken away from the layout at all. Um, but I was just, when I usually have black and white photos, I try to incorporate, incorporate a little bit of a black pop somewhere else. But didn't end up happening and this layout still came together and it's really beautiful. So I'm just using the beautiful Catherine Puffy Alphabet set. Look at those beautiful colours and how sweet is that font. And I just really wanted to make a bit of an embellishment cluster that runs down the right hand side of my layout and to do that I thought I would um, sort of create my own embellishments with my title and incorporate my title in that sort of embellishment trickle down the down that side of the page so I firstly I thought I'm just going to title it puppy love pup oh, sorry puppy love and then a little bit later on I've decided that um, I'm going to you I, I needed another embellishment or another little thing there so I wrote um, the title will be love and then it's got our puppy down the bottom so here I am I'm just as you can see I'm just roughing up the edges I've got a really great little tool there that's one I've had in my stash for years and years and years oh there's Katie she just wanted to say hello <laughs> Um, years and years I've had that little tool but it's perfect for it's an edge distressor and it has a little blade in it also has some like a sandpapery edge so you can do some different types of um, distressing with that little tool and that was a Prima marketing one that I got years ago I don't know if they're still available if they are um, I think it's I would definitely grab another one I I am worried about the day that that little tool is no longer sharp and it's no longer edge distressing for me. Um, but yes, I'm hoping they still make those. I'll have to check that out. But yes, as you can see, I'm just starting that cluster, that trickle down the page on that side there. And I'm then going to add up those final embellishments. So if you haven't heard of Felicity Jane, Felicity Jane is a beautiful boutique scrapbooking kit club. They produce kits each month and send them out to their subscribers and they um, they are always themed with a, a young girl and this girl is called Catherine and there's been, there's plenty of kits. I've Some favourites of mine have been Lola and Sarah. I've purchased the digital kits that are available as well if um, the physical product might be um, out of your reach for well, for some Aussies, it's out of our financial reach because of the um, Aussie dollar and the shipping charges. Um, but if you're interested in digital scrapbooking, they have digital kits available as well. So you can fall in love with Felicity Jane. All the details about Felicity Jane are linked below. And they also have a fabulous little Facebook group where you can go over and be inspired and share your layouts and share your thoughts about scrapbooking. And, and the team over there is really lovely and supportive. So I've just roughed up the edges of those couple of little tags just to help that transition, that little trickle down the page from small to bigger, back down to smaller. If you can see how I've kind of done that with the star and the little tabs, I've started sort of made like a, you know, just, just making sure my sizing from the top to the bottom is the same. And um, I think that sort of gives that a finishing off effect there. And I've just added that final bit of... Um, uh, embellishments with those gorgeous little stars and then I thought I'm just going to rough up those edges because I've roughed up everything else on the page and then I'm going to do a little feature off the side there just to help carry that um, those beautiful colors across the other side there and as you can see I'm just poking that through there and then I'm going to run the sewing machine stitches around the edge. So if you are new to my channel welcome and to my current subscribers a big hello. Um, if you are new and you're in and you like my scrapbooking style I encourage you to click the sub 
subscribe button and like this post. And if you want to be notified when I post a new video, just hit the notification bell. And there you have it. There's my layout complete. So I hope it's inspired you to do some scrapbooking and check out Felicity Jane. All right, guys, take care. Happy scrapping. Bye. Thank you.